Hi, this is Dr. Nishal, and in this video we're going to be talking about multiple sclerosis and regrowing brain cells, um, inducing the process of neurogenesis. Uh, neurogenesis is the uh, the building of neurons. Neuron uh, neurons are basically the uh, brain cells. Uh, now, for a long time, it was believed that uh, this cannot be achieved. Uh, however, recently it's been discovered that there are some things that can cause uh, brain cells to regrow. Uh, namely, um, exercise. Exercise is something that is known to, to regenerate brain cells and induce the process of uh, neurogenesis. However, in the case of MS, it's not always possible to, uh, to exercise. Sometimes it becomes, um, even in, in early cases, it becomes kind of paralyzing and people cannot always do that. So I'm going to give you a more easier solution. A medicinal plant, a medicinal herb that you can buy at almost any health store, uh, pretty much anywhere, it's quite popular, uh, and it's known as ashwagandha. The uh, botanical name is Wutania somnifera. Now, this is a very popular Ayurvedic medical uh, medicinal plant, and it's been used for thousands of years for all kinds of conditions, um, mainly as an adaptogen, uh, which helps you adapt to stress, but uh, also for the fact that it is a brain tonic. It promotes um, uh, it enhances cognitive function, memory, uh, it reduces um, uh, neuroinflammation, it reduces inflammation per se in the, in the body, it's um, an analgesic, it reduces pain. There was just a recent uh, research paper I read a few days ago, uh, it reduced um, pain in osteoarthritis patients, um, the knee joints, significantly. Now, ashwagandha is known uh, for containing steroids, naturally occurring steroids. And this is not the same as the synthetic steroids that you know bodybuilders to use um, that has a lot of side effects. These are naturally occurring, these are healthy. And these can be uh, consumed uh, without any side effects. Now, um, the, the I believe the steroids are withanoids and certain alkaloids. Uh, but not to get too deep into that, basically uh, these steroids promote growth. Now, because ashwagandha works uh, predominantly on the brain, uh, it's, it for a long time it has been believed that it can enhance uh, growth of brain tissue. Recently, it's been seen that in, in, in research that ashwagandha contains, um, it induces uh, the production and the release of a chemical known as BDNF, uh, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Uh, and this promotes neuritic growth, neurogenesis. Now, uh, this, been, this has been seen in, uh, in vivo and vitro studies, and uh, based on the uh, results that are seen clinically, it can be inferred that this uh, medicinal plant contains, um, uh, induces uh, neurogenesis and significantly improves neurological health in general, and specifically in patients of MS, uh, as well as fibromyalgia, as well as... Um, uh, transverse myelitis, uh, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. Now there's been a lot of research done on ashwagandha and Alzheimer's that has shown a lot of positive promising results. Uh, so as far as neurodegeneration goes, it is a very powerful medicine, uh, a very powerful medicinal plant. And so I would recommend you consuming this, but of course it does interact with certain medications. So you need to go to a practitioner, now uh, specifically an Ayurvedic doctor. Uh, some naturopaths know about it as well. Uh, and in fact, there are many MDs that I have met that are familiar with ashwagandha as well. Uh, but I would recommend you going to an Ayurvedic doctor. The In the next videos, we're going to be talking about uh, diet and uh, one of the key nutrients that is deficient in most people's diets nowadays that is... Um, extremely important for neurological health and, uh, and the brain in general. And uh, I'm also going to be talking about enhancing cellular metabolism uh, to enhance the production of neurons.